In 1965, as part of President Lyndon B. Johnson's War on Poverty, Congress passed the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. The act guaranteed equal access to education for all school-age children by providing federal grants of taxpayer money to schools. Under the act, religious schools could also receive these grants. Florence Flast and other taxpayers were upset that the government was using federal funds to support religious schools. The taxpayers brought suit in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York to stop Wilbur Cohen, the Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare, from spending those funds. The taxpayers argued that the act violated the Establishment and Free Exercise Clauses of the First Amendment. The Establishment Clause prohibits the federal government from supporting the establishment of any religion. The Free Exercise Clause prohibits the federal government from hindering the exercise of religion. Because the act forced taxpayers to pay taxes in support of religion, Flast argued that the act both supported the establishment of religion and also hindered the free exercise of religion. But the federal officials claimed that the taxpayers lacked standing to challenge the act. A party has standing when the party has a personal stake in the outcome of the case. To demonstrate standing, the taxpayers needed to show that they suffered a concrete injury, that the injury was caused by the defendant, and that a favorable decision would likely remedy the injury. The federal officials moved to dismiss the case. The district court examined the United States Supreme Court's decision in Frothingham v. Mellon. In Frothingham, a taxpayer challenged a federal funding statute as unconstitutional. The Supreme Court found that the taxpayer didn't have a direct injury because her interest in federal tax revenues was small and indeterminable. Therefore, the Supreme Court held that the taxpayer in Frothingham didn't have standing to challenge the federal statute. Based on Frothingham, the district court held that Flast and the other taxpayers lacked standing. The taxpayers appealed directly to the Supreme Court. 